Hey guys, Zach here. Uh, it's just me this time, no Juliana, no games, just talking into a camera and a microphone all by myself in my room. Working on getting used to that. Anyway, um, this isn't, you know, a typical gaming video. This isn't a state of the channel. I know it's going up on a Monday, but this is, as I'm sure you've noticed, what we call Miscellaneous Monday. And I do want to preface this video by saying that we are not an unboxing channel. We're not becoming an unboxing channel. We're not a tech review channel. I just got myself a new toy. And I want to talk about it. Um, I just got the Swift Point Z mouse in. Uh, it just came in a couple days ago. And I, I'm really excited about it. It's something that Juliana, the wonderful woman that she is, Juliana got for me for my birthday, which was back in December. It was We were hoping it was going to show up on time. It didn't, but... I, that doesn't change the fact that I've been super excited about this and the opportunity to have it and play with it and see what it, what other opportunities it can afford me. Plus, having I like having cool stuff. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unboxing of this and then I'm going to give my first impressions and we'll go from there. So, let's dive down into it, open up that box and see what's inside and what's in store for me. Alright, so here we have the Swift Point Z box. It's pretty... Pretty straightforward special launch edition. Uh, I did get the the Kickstarter early bird edition, so that's why this is the special launch. It comes with a bunch of extra stuff because it is Kickstarter, and um, I get it before anyone else. So there's no other major tech reviewers out there that have this. I get this before anyone else. As you'll see here, it won the 2017 CES Gaming Innovation of the Year Award. The Swift Point Z, here's a picture of the mouse. Other than that, it's real straightforward, real simple, designed in New Zealand, nice, made in China, that we knew. SwiftPoint.com if you want to know anything else about the company that makes this. Um, so let's open this bad boy up. Simple, oh, there we go. Okay, so here, here we see we've got the two bottom feet. This is the flight simulator base here. It, um... Basically, it just it sticks onto the bottom and gives kind of a, a well, let's pull this out, kind of rocks a little bit. So it's it's uh, it's for the it basically allows the the Z axis and the gyroscope, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. And then here, these are the uh, the tilt bases. This is the the left lockout foot, so it allows it to tilt one way, the other way, real. Real simple, real straightforward. So these attach on the bottom with the same magnets as this guy here. And yeah, so, oop, eh, wow, those are strong magnets. Okay, so we're going to set these off to the side here. Set those there. Pull this guy up. Ooh, nice packing foam. Okay. First thing I'm noticing is there's this nice rollout mouse pad. Oh, that is a nice one. Nice and thick, customize the Z. It's got the cube on it. Just set that there for now. Okay, what else do we have in here? Well, looks like we've got the, the Z. Uh, it's a cable management cube. So basically I just set set the cord in there and allows me to um, keep, keep the exact amount of slack that I want or need. So I basically slide this in here. It runs the cord up through super nice it's got a good weight to it it's not something that's going to get pulled around i believe it's aluminum so there's that there um okay so here's here is the beast um so it's got long finger cap short finger cap i believe these are triggers um the ooh. So these these here are finger triggers. There's like a bajillion buttons on this mouse. It's insane. It's ridiculous. And it's what is that? Oh, okay. So this is uh, use the sticky pad to keep the cube in place on your desk. So I put this on the bottom of the cube here, and it'll keep it from moving it around. So these are trigger pull caps. So these go here. And they're customizable, they're short, there's tall, and then there's fingertip caps. So there's the standard using the mouse, and then there's 
extra, oh, extra there. And then there's push up and down. Man, this thing is well built. So yeah, it's got the bottom, the tilt stuff, just basic directions, edge buttons, OLED display. So that's for like readouts and, oh, if I can frame that. So on here, uh, it shows edge button, just a, a basic rundown of what there is. So there's two edge buttons. There's the OLED display, which has readouts for DPI, what profile you're in, all that sort of thing. Thumb buttons for extra, for, I guess, whatever the hell you want them to be for. Man, that's got a nice feel. Um, rubber grips to hold on to better. Gaming grade optical sensor. Pixart PWM3360 up to 12,000 DPI and 50G. Braided cable. 20 million click rated switches with deep click for analog control. So there's the standard click and then there's a deep click. It's actually got a pressure sensor in there and it'll sense how hard the mouse buttons are being pressed. And then, uh, oh, this Z cube here is RGB. So it's completely customizable, color, all that good stuff. Uh, yep, RGB lighting there. Um, push pull trigger buttons with replaceable button caps for customized comfort. Fingertip buttons with replaceable keycaps for customized comfort, both with deep, deep click. Uh, Z comes with the tilt base feet already fitted, enabling sideways tilt gestures. Okay, so these are the not tilt feet. These are the the don't move and the one that's on there is the the side to side let's see if we can get this open there we go so yeah these these feet on the bottom here allow for tilt side to side so like if you want to peek around peek around a building or wall or whatever if you're playing those types of games get that out of there. Come on. there we go so well, that's that. I got the screen. Um, I'm gonna go plug this into my computer, get the software all installed, and if there's anything interesting going on there, I'll I'll clue you guys in on that, and then we'll play some games with it, and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, so I've gotten a chance to play with the mouse a little bit. I've messed with some of the settings, and there's a lot more to it, and there's a lot more setting up to it than I thought there was going to be, so in the time that I had to work with this, and the time that I'm giving myself to get this video out, I haven't really been able to do a lot of setting up properly to get the mouse for a lot of games. I've gotten a little bit, and I've played some games with it, and you'll see some of the... You'll probably notice in my next Outlast video that, that I, I played with the new mouse and some new settings. You'll notice that things are probably a little shakier, and that's because I set the the lean one direction or the other for peeking around corners or turning around while I'm sprinting. So you'll probably see some of that. Um, and you'll hopefully see a lot more stuff, uh, cool stuff from this mouse in the future. I'm really enjoying it. It's really cool. It's a pretty straightforward setup system. There's just a lot to do and a lot to kind of figure out. And I also have to keep in mind that this is this is the mouse itself and the the drivers for it are in beta so there's that to worry about so uh, I've, I've seen some reports of like they'll release a new driver or firmware update and the mouse will break for a while and it's like oh no that's bad that hasn't happened to me yet and hopefully those problems are solved but as I am technically a beta tester for this device things not going super smoothly are to be expected Overall, I'm super happy with it. I'm really, really excited about this mouse. I highly recommend it. It's the most comfortable mouse. It's got the best feel in hand that I've ever had. None of the buttons are hard or extraneous for me to reach. And the ones that are, it's kind of understandable that they are like pulling the trigger buttons. Uh, I've, I've actually got it right here. So pulling... Pulling these buttons here that's a little hard but that's fine I'm not I don't have a problem with it because normally when I'm resting I have access to at least six buttons without moving my fingers and that's really fucking cool so overall 
I again I highly recommend this device I if once it goes live and once everything's stable I highly recommend you get one it is rather expensive I believe it's going to retail for like 225 but seeing what they've done with this and what they've they're doing in the future they've talked about having the driver software be open source you're going to be able to share profiles between users there's a lot that this mouse has potential for and I'm really excited to see where that goes so that's my unboxing and first impressions of this mouse thank you guys so much for watching um I know I did a lot wrong I know the framing for the unboxing probably wasn't the best this is my first one there might be more in the future if I get some other really cool new toy or gadget that I want to share with you guys that's going to help boost things. I'll probably throw that up as a, uh, another unboxing video. But beyond that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong. Boy, am I. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Toodle little.